Well then, let's get to trading. Well then, let's get to trading. I look like a pack. Joshua. Bet they don't have anything as nasty as Yao Guai out where you come from, huh?
bet they don't have anything as nasty as Yao Guai out where you come from, huh? Well then, let's get to trading. Well then, let's get to trading.
Bet they don't have anything as nasty as Yao Guai out where you come from. Well then, let's get to trading.
Why do you carry all those bottle caps anyway? They jangle like crazy. The Narrows up ahead. That's the Sorrows territory. They're peaceful enough, but you don't want to make them mad. You are the one Joshua Graham sent to us. Blessings of the Father in the cave on you. Daniel is waiting for you. A sorrow's Yaogwai fist is a sacred symbol. It shows that we belong to the tribe and have willingly undertaken a dangerous quest to aid the tribe. Each sorrow makes his own. And only after hunting and slaying a Yaogwai that threatened our people our shaman, White Bird, oversees the rites. Perhaps if you spoke to him, he would allow you to undertake such a quest. Daniel is a wise man and a great friend to the Sorrows. He taught me to speak the language of New Canaan, the English, from the holy books. Yes. The language of the New Canaanites is the holy tongue, for it is the language their sacred books are written in. The father in the caves brought it to them after the judgment, but the ancestors of the sorrows sinned against him. They were denied the true tongue. Six years. He attended the birth of my third child. It was a hard birth. The river nearly carried my water to the father and my child's with it. Daniel knew the ways of New Canaan's medicine. He stepped in and saved both of our lives. After the birth, I asked Daniel if he would teach me what he knew of childbirth. He agreed, and so here I am. Waking Cloud is my name. I am midwife to the Sorrows. It sounds ill omen, no? Midwife to Sorrows? The children and the old have already been evacuated from the camp. They are safe enough, unless the White Legs come for us in force. I tend to other hurts and sicknesses that afflict our tribe. I also scout the valley for the herbs I use in my medicines. Have you not heard of the god of the new Canaanites? He is our protector and our judge. He helped our ancestors find their place here in Zion. He gave us many gifts, but we are not to seek him out. His caves are forbidden to us. Those who seek them out are taken from us. Perhaps you do not fully understand the new Canaanites. I have seen the father's images. His holy bride and holy son were given unto the world to save it. They dwelt in the caverns of the mountains, caverns which can still be seen today. The people sinned against him and were punished with the end that came in fire and the loss of the holy tongue. Only the new Canaanites were spared. I'm sure Daniel could tell you more. His knowledge of the Father is greater than my own. We have dwelt in the narrows since the end that came in fire. When the Father in the caves punished the world and made us forget the Holy Tongue. We have had good relations with the other tribes in the valley. At least before Salt Upon Wounds brought his white legs here. We have Daniel to thank for our continued existence. His advice and help has kept the white legs from overrunning us so far. I do not know how long even he can protect us though. He is war chief of the White Legs, and the worst butcher of them all. 
The tribes he has crushed are many. The warriors he has slain, countless. Then I will look forward to our next speaking. The dead horses told me details about the attack on your caravan. A stranger's sympathy might not count for much, but for what it's worth, I'm sorry. The Sorrows will mourn your friends too. They mourn everyone, even the White Legs. They have sensitive souls, innocent if there is such a thing. In spite of what's happened, I hope that Joshua and I can help you out of here. But to be frank, we need your help too. Well, I'll be. I was starting to lose hope we'd be able to get any of this, much less all of it. Tribals are smart, but, well, they're ignorant. <sighs> Letting go of a taboo is difficult for them, so I knew it would have to be one of us. Turns out all it took was a gentile, or, uh, no offense. These supplies are a godsend, but if we're going to evacuate Zion without drawing more white leg attention, I need you to go back into the valley. Specifically? I need you to scout out some locations for White Legs and try to recover a map of Grand Staircase, a wilderness area to the east. There's also the matter of the roads. We're going to be heading out of the east side of the park, but I'm not sure the way is clear. I appreciate the enthusiasm. There aren't a lot of people in the wasteland with kindness to spare for anyone who isn't kin. Since you've been poking around the valley, you might see more activity from the White Legs. One of the Sorrow's hunters, Waking Cloud, has volunteered to help guide you through the valley. She has a special talent for staying out of sight. After this, it's just a matter of getting everyone out of here safe and sound. And hopefully, you can head back to the Mojave without any more trouble. Well, here we part ways. I'm needed back at the Dead Horses camp. Maybe I'll see you there sometime. Sorry. Joshua was pretty clear. Get you to Daniel, then come on home. You can take it up with him if you'd like. I will. Good going, Akis. Daniel said that I was to travel with you until you have completed your scouting. Is this pleasing to you? Certainly. We should make haste then. <laughs> <laughs> 